Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about the new version of Codex. The main reason that I'm doing this is because people have told me that this is now a legit competitor to Claude Code, and I wanted to test that out for myself because I don't just I never take people's word for anything. It looks like they've been updating it a lot recently, so let's just grab Codex and let's see what happens. So Codex CLI, and then we'll just install this real quick. I like to use chat. Uh, I like to use Claude Code to install things, just because um, I don't actually have a brain, and I just like to let Claude Code do everything for me. So let's do that now. So let's cd dot dot cd dot dot, and then mkd Codex test cd Codex test. And then from here we'll run Claude, and then I'll be able to see if it's actually running Claude or if it's yeah okay it is. So help me install Codex and get it running. Okay, so this should just install everything for me. So I'm on Mac OS. Yes, I am indeed. How do you actually log in? I have no idea. I believe it's um, we recommend signing into your ChatGPT account. Okay, perfect. Okay, so it's already installed. I didn't realize that. Codex CLI. Let's update it, I guess. No, update it. Now, one cool thing is, this is something I've been kind of thinking about, is what if you can have Claude Code run something like Codex, right? Or what happens if you run Claude Code inside Claude Code? This is something I will be looking at very, very soon. Can you get Claude Code to act like you in the development process. Now that will be an interesting video. That's not what this video is about, however, so I don't want it to actually run it itself. We're going to be doing my standard um, benchmark, which is creating a Next.js website. There we go. So we have Codex 0 0.270. So now if I run Codex, let's say allow, and then you are using, okay, beautiful. Apparently I'm logged in already, which is weird. Who realize? So let's go GPT-5 high, and then let's just exit out for one second, and then we'll set up the benchmark. Just before I set up the benchmark, guys, thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is me, Income Stream Surfers, and SEO Grove. SEO Grove is a agent or agentic platform which automates currently Shopify, but it will also automate WordPress very soon. This is the last chance to join the waiting list if you just press join waitlist. You pay $1 and then we charge you $99 a month for three months and you get full access to Grove, which is normally $4.99 a month. This is your last chance to lock that in. Okay, so with all that being said, let's just go to my school community. This isn't, this isn't a plug for the school community. It's just where I keep everything. Okay, so from my school community, if I just go on uh, Classroom and go to all my prompts and workflows, and then we just create this Next.js app, <clears throat> like so. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and then we'll grab the images. So Rolls Royce, and we'll go. I kind of want to find my old Rolls Royce folders if possible, but 19, 19, 19. No, I don't think I'll be able to. Wait, let's do show more. Nope. Okay, so we'll just grab this Rolls Royce rental app. Mm, no. Okay, so this one here has the public, so we'll just copy the public folder, so right-click, copy, and then we'll go back to the terminal. Uh, what is it? Codex test. So we'll go inside here, go to my app, and then we'll paste the public folder. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that's pretty much everything set up for the benchmark. Let's get things running. So let's do Codex. Uh, let's just double check that we're on the right model. I want to use high just because I want to give it the best possible chance of building something properly. And then, yeah, let's put the prompt and press enter and let's see what happens. So it looks like I'm already logged in. I don't know how or why. I guess I've already done. I've I already looked at Codex on this on my Mac, basically. So let's just see how it starts. So configuring I, I, I1AN, implementing routing. Okay, wow. So this looks like it's doing a lot already. Okay, we'll let this run, guys, and we'll be back soon. So I'm going to actually, let's see. I'm going to inspect the repo to confirm the Next.js version. Okay, I'll dive into my app. Perfect. So it's beautifully managed to pick up what I wanted to do. And as well, apparently, they have just released, if I'm not mistaken, Codex, uh, what are they called? Uh, Visual Studio Code 
extension. Let's see if that's true. Yeah, here we go. Codex IDE extension. Here we go. I'll definitely be testing this one as well. However, just for now, I'm going to be using Codex normally, but I think I'll probably make a video on this too. Now, this is using, obviously, the new and improved ChatGPT5, so I'm hoping that this is going to do a very, very good job of the task at hand. So the reason a lot of people like to use the IDE extensions is so that they can see what's happening while it's happening. However, you can also just open the folder, right? So if I go here, go to Codex Test, open this, we can do the same thing. So if I go to my app here, we'll be able to see everything that's happening, etc., etc. So, I mean, you don't really need to use the IDE extension. It's just whether or not it's actually better or not. So what is this? This is layout.tsx. So that's this file here. There we go. It's starting to actually make changes, etc. Beautiful. Okay, so it's starting to actually speed up a little bit here. This is locales.ts. Uh, 89 lines is good. That's about standard for this project. Uh, it's actually starting to do things very, very quickly here. You can see I'm not... It, it, it's really starting to push things through, which is really, really good. 81 lines is good. That's about standard, like I was just saying for these files yeah it looks like it's doing a very very good job so we'll we'll see the end result here oh look at that 148 that's very very good very very good okay so this is the final result and yeah it looks really really good let's see if all the buttons work etc etc yep they do now obviously some things are missing but the colors are perfect let's see if the italian works nope it did not uh let's just go back here Let's go to the home page and let's press Italian and see if that works. It does. Let's see if the links work. So if I go here and to weddings, yep, it works. Let's see if the SEO has been done. SEO has been done perfectly as well. I mean, this was pro this was probably the fastest I've ever seen this done as well. This took, let's see if it still says how many minutes. I think it took about seven minutes, if I'm not mistaken, eight minutes, which is completely crazy. And then it says, want me to tune the color palette, add more block templates for variety, or wire a contact form handler. Wow. So it even tells you exactly what you could do next, and it's very, very accurate with what it should do next as well. I would say this is better than, honestly, this is better than Claude Code when I do this with Claude Code. I'm very, very impressed, guys. There are a couple of things missing. I think it could be a little bit more detailed. Um, the images could be better as well. But overall, I mean, it looks amazing. I love the the style. I love everything about it. Um, the EN works. Pretty much everything works. Uh, I've only seen one 404 right now, and that was because I was on um, English and I went to Italian, which can happen, right? It's actually quite common. The contact page works. Services all work. Wow. Yeah, they've massively improved Codex, guys, and it might actually be a contender for being better than Claude Code. One more thing is that ChatGPT5 actually has 400,000 contacts and it's actually cheaper than Sonnet as well. This might actually be the answer, guys. Now, another thing as well is I'm pretty sure that I'm not using my API key. Now, I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, I actually don't know how to check if I'm using my API key or not. Let's have a look. Create an agent style default insurance for Codex. Wow. Guys, I'm going to be looking at this in a lot more detail. Um, I think this might actually be on par with Claude Code, if not better. This used only 12% of the entire context. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. And that's only 12%, right? So let's say if you did a one-to-one -one comparison between 200k context and 400k context, and you just keep building, in my opinion, Codex would actually outbuild Claude Code which is not something I was expecting to say in this video. Very, very exciting times ahead, guys. I'm going to be using Codex. I'm going to see if it can help me add some things to Grove, which is a very complicated project. I really want to see how it does with something like that. Um, yeah, I'll leave the video there, guys. Absolutely incredible result. I'm very excited to test this in more detail. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.